All right, guys, now that we've powered off the drone, everything's unplugged, the USB and the power out. Don't close BL Heli, just minimize it. So just kind of click the minimize button there and have it go down there. Uh, we're gonna close that though, and we'll close that as well. And we can close, we'll get rid of that. All right, and that. There's too many things open, let's close that. All right, so now we're gonna be back at beta flight. Now, what we wanna do here, and you have to follow the instructions very carefully here, okay? We're gonna take our drone, don't forget, we're gonna turn it away from us. We're take our USB cable, and we're gonna plug it in. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our battery and we're going to plug it in as well, but not just yet. i got to show you what you have to do first. First thing you want to do is you want to click Connect. Click Reset, don't forget. Click Calibrate. Okay. And then what we want to do is now we're going to configure our motor. So here's what we do for that Calibrate, I mean, RESC. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to our motor tab, click it. Make sure it says One Shot 125. And what we're going to do here is we are going to take our, there's a little safety switch right here that says that if you flip this, you understand the risks, the propellers, uh, uh, and the, uh, you understand the risks and the propellers are removed and we do not have any propellers on here right now. Make sure you do not try this with propellers on. They should not be, they should not be on at all. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. Oops, sorry, let me get back there. We're gonna go ahead and turn this on. Okay. And we are going to take all the motors and put them, well, I tell you what, we'll use the master slider. There you go, just like that, all right? Now, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get ready to plug in the live battery and listen to what happens to the motors. All that beeping was the chime for the um, motors to get calibrated, okay? So let's go through that again real quickly, just to show you guys what, what it's like, all right? So basically, you take your throttle, you come over to motors, you take your throttle, you activate the motor right here, you activate the arming right here, take your throttle and put it all the way to the top, and you plug motors in, okay? And when that first set of chimes is done, you come back over here and you drop the main throttle back down. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead and switch, flip the switch back off, click disconnect, and turn off your power to your drone, unplug it, and unplug the USB. I want it to have no power in it when we go back to BL Heli, okay? So now what we're gonna do is now that you've done that, go back and just put the USB back in and plug your battery in. Uh, plug, you can plug your battery in, just like this, okay? Now I'm gonna go back to my BL Heli that I minimized and I'm gonna click Read Setup, okay? Now if you look at the Read Setup option, oops, let me see, sorry, I meant to click here you're gonna see that it is very close. Everything looks here very good, all right? So we can close that. And what we wanna do though, is we wanna pay attention to this area right here. This is how we're gonna calibrate. Here's what you're gonna do, okay? You're going to get, and I'm gonna do this on top of the drone so you can watch me doing it. You are going to write the following. M1 for motor one, M2 for motor two, M3 for motor three, and M4 for motor four. And here, you're gonna put min and max, okay? And what you wanna do is, you wanna come over here on the screen and you wanna right click on motor number one. You see, it makes all the other motors disappear. So when you right click on it, you look up here, do the PPM minimum throttle and the PPM maximum throttle. And you're gonna write those values down. So the minimum throttle is 1012, the maximum throttle is 2004, okay? So just keep that there. Now we're gonna come down, gotta find out where my mouse went. We're gonna come down and we're gonna right click on motor two. <clears throat> motor two, you're gonna put 1012 again, and you're gonna put 2004. Good, so far these two are in sync. So then you're gonna come over here and right click on motor three. And you're gonna put uh, 1012 and 2004. All 
right? And then you're going to come over and you're going to do motor four. And you're going to put one zero one two two zero zero four. All right. So the first thing is that all these motors match up perfectly. You want your minimum and your maximums to be the same on all of them. If they're not, you will pick the highest minimum value because all of the motors can achieve that and the lowest maximum value because all the motors can achieve that. So if, if in this case, for example, motor one was actually reading 1996 and 2012, then I would put 1996 because that is going to be the lowest high number I've got, which means every motor can hit that number, okay? So, but in this case, they all match. So as long as these all match, you're in good shape, all right? So once that's done, everything looks good, you're gonna left click on the other motors, make them come back, and then you're going to click on the check mark here for pro pro programming by TX, and then you're just gonna come over here and click right setup. on that Can I get my, there's my mouse. okay so now that we're done with that and everything looks good go ahead and power off your unplug your battery or power off your drone just like this and you can now close down BL Heli for the time being okay actually we'll minimize it for right now all right find your way back to Betaflight here and we're gonna do a motor direction test in just a minute and we'll be right back